Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Killian and me here on Incineration Zone. This is going to be a Terran versus Protoss matchup here on Incineration Zone. I'm spawning on the, I guess, the 10 o'clock position over here on Incineration Zone. Meanwhile, my opponent Killian spawning over here as the red Protoss player. Now, I am still learning how to play some play StarCraft 2. I don't have as much experience. A lot of the people out there are like, how come you don't play that many games? And I, all I can really respond is, have you seen my videos? Have you seen how much time it takes to make videos? So yeah. Over there, Killian and Killian and pretty uh, strong, or and knows this map fairly well, knowing that he has to go ahead and move out and try to scout me out. So he's now moving out with this probe in order to do some early scouting, and I believe that he knows that a Terran player really likes to go Reapers on this map. So Reapers are a very, very strong option. He sees that there's already an early gas in in play, and now trying to look for this barracks, we'll find this barracks, and quickly going after that SCV, trying to make sure that it gets taken down. However, I bring in another SCV over to go straight attack that probe as well, making sure that that barracks does not get delayed. So probe now being pulled away, or the probe is now being pulled away and going to go ahead and head back on out. What I'm going to do is I want to make sure that that probe didn't try to drop any sort of pylon or do any sort of tricks over here on the top right hand side. So I will be going ahead and scouting that position in just a little bit. Down over here the barracks is already up, tech lab is already being built in order to do some scouting. Killian and on the other hand however is activating this Dalnaga watchtower over here to get good sight on this map trying to make sure that there's no units coming in this way or perhaps around that back way. I really like the doodads on this map though those the flame effects look really good the lava effects look really good. Back over here the reapers or the single reaper now being trained up army wise and income wise you can see that his 15 harvesters are definitely stronger than my 10. He's now getting a pylon and getting the cybernetics core getting some gas as well. So the Cybernetics Core, he built it purposely. This is more of an anti-Reaper build. Building an anti-Reaper build in order to be able to produce those units fairly quickly. Out comes a Reaper. Reaper going to go ahead and try to push on out at this stage in the game. Perhaps to do a little bit of harassment. Maybe if I can get one or two kills off with this Reaper. I can win. I can tr perhaps try to win this game. Going after one of those probes, get, at least getting one probe, and now going after some. Of the, um, going after that zealot. Zealot getting one hit in, trying to continue to get those hits off, trying to uh, micro that reaper around the map. And I s quickly see that he is in fact getting um, a chrono boosting that gateway. So chrono boosting that gateway. I want to make sure that I do not lose this reaper as the reaper it was such an expensive unit and with that gateway nearly completed i knew that the stalker the harassment was not going to work so i quickly changed up my strategy that second reaper was already built but now i'm going for marauders and will be researching the concussive shells taking down these destructible rocks as well i did a little bit of an experiment and and you guys out there are correct reapers are able to take down the destructible rocks faster but it's not by as much as you may think it is. I, I believe it was a difference of about like 7 seconds in terms of how much damage um, the Reapers do. It's, the Marauders attack a little bit more quickly than a, than a Reaper does. And because of that slight attack difference, the Marauders um, are able to catch up in terms of damage. So now two Marauders, or one Marauder already in play, and um, two Reapers, and now getting a second barracks up, getting that second Marauder, moving over to take down these destructible rocks on that back door. Killian sitting at 225 um, army while I'm sitting on a 300. He's chrono boosting that Nexus and also getting a, a Stargate. So Killian gonna be using that Phoenix harassment that we've seen earlier with Fresh. I really like the Phoenix, the Stargate opening, and um, I think it's a really strong opening for Protoss players as it really neutralizes those um, those Marauders fairly easily. Two Marauders, two Reapers pushing in on this back door, a third Marauder coming in as well, two Barracks, a second Tech Lab now being put down, Orbital Command now up and running. He still, however, has more Harvesters than me, so I'm going to have this army 
of three Marauders and two Reapers push on in into his base. However, the unit combination is perhaps a little bit better for me, as he only has two Stalkers and one Zealot. Reaper's gonna come in, get off a couple quick hits, and continue to fight, trying to take down these units. Probe's getting taken down, his Harvester count already down to 22. Zealots, Sentry, and Stalkers now trying to come in, and now in come these Zealots. Zealots are a nice force field being used to try to disrupt this whole entire attack now trying to focus down these units a little bit more that one single reaper gonna get focused down but still two marauders against two two stalkers and he doesn't have any harvesters at this stage he does however have a phoenix and he's trying to use that phoenix to the best of his ability i'm gonna go ahead and start trying to start focus firing these units we'll be able to take down one of those suckers and i start pulling do i start pulling away with that other marauder I believe I start pulling away with that Marauder. No, not microwing that well. Oh, there, pulling it away, down to 12 hit points, and now able to take down that sentry. However, in comes that Phoenix, and I was like, oh crap, he has Phoenixes. So there's not much I can do in terms of damage to, or in, or in terms to save that Marauder, but the Graviton Beam does not last long enough to kill a single and um, to kill a single Reaper. So Stalker is now coming in, just trying to pick up those units. Stalker is, however, getting focused down by these Marauders. One, one Stalker dead and taken down. Those two Phoenixes up in the air, not really able to do anything else. Gonna go ahead and move over, continue to just deal damage towards these units. Zealot now trying to be warped in, but as it's being warped in, it it can still take damage. And for five units of time, but able to just take damage and killing it and picking up a Marauder that did, didn't have any damage on it. And I think that was a mistake. He really should have been trying to focus down Marauders that had some damage, perhaps this one or this one, in order to get the kill off. Now a Marine coming in, in order to, to take down that one, take down these pylons. I want to make sure that no additional units are being produced. And now I was worried about a, a Void Ray. If a Void Ray comes in on this engagement, I am going to be in a lot of trouble. So I stim, take down this last pylon that's powering the Stargate. And as soon as that uh, Void Ray is taken down, I know that... I know as soon as there's no Void Ray, I can pretty much use these Marauders and finish off the rest of this army. A couple of these two Phoenixes staying within the whole entire fight. Army of 800 versus 300 and income and Harvesters and Killian says GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you guys enjoyed this 1v1 replay here on Incineration Zone.